The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the April 4th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We knew and I make that one little two by four shift. Well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So that means all you need to do is pick up that phone and give us a call at 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it early. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in an air tiger's den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, you got a mixed bag out here. The Dow up just slightly. It's flat. The S&P is not flat. It's up 19 points. The Nasdaq 100, 229 to the upside, 1.5%. The Russell slightly flat, down 2 points. Semis are up 36. Trannies are down uh, 34 points, a quarter of a percent. You've got gold up $10, and silver's down 8 cents. Lights we crude up 233. Natural gas up 7 pennies. 30-year treasury down 23 ticks. Trading out at 149.03. Leading the charge dollar-wise. The upside, you've got Amazon up 64 bucks, Google's up 57, Tesla's up 50, Mercado Libre up 40, and Shopify up 33. To the downside, it's Alpha Metallurgical Research or something out there, and that's off about 10%, 14 bucks. ABIO Med up off $13, 4%. Anthem is down 12 bucks or $2.03 and uh, 3 tenths. Uh, Molina Healthcare off 11 And Matson Inc. down 10 bucks. That's about 8%. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. So let's begin by looking at what? Let's begin by taking a look at the uh, equity future contracts out here. Uh, we will momentarily change over to our daily time frame set of screens out here. And there you go. In the upper left-hand corner, you've got the daily time frame for the ES Mini. Now, it's kind of hard to make out here, but price is trading above the top of its daily profile. And that's going to be important for the end of day. And the end of day level, or the is 45 52 is what you're going to want to watch. Right now, we're trading at 45.59. A close above the top of a profile would be a bullish outcome. Now, that bullish outcome uh, could or should find resistance at its TD9 count top. That is the actual high from March 29th. If, in fact, the ES Mini were to close above that level, that level is 46.31. That would suggest a strong momentum move to the upside. With regard to the NQ, really the same playbook here. Now, the difference is that the NQ is not trading above the top of its daily profile. The top of that profile for the NQ is at 15,268.75. If price closes above that, the next level of resistance would be 15,636.50. The Dow Equity Future contract on Friday and this morning have tested and rejected its oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line, because it had recently turned from green, uh, red to green, that test on Friday, that test today, is a bullish signal. That suggests what the Dow Equity Future contract wants to do is make its way up towards the top of its profile, and that's at the 35281 level. The Russell 2000 on Friday tested and rejected that green oscillator and change line after changing colors. That is a bullish test. Price has followed resistance at the top of its profile. It's really at the top of its profile and the consolidation pattern. So the level to be watching there is 2098.20. If price closes above that, then we should see price move higher. Now, when I say move higher, 
we want to make sure that we're always trying to understand where is there where is support and resistance so what we're going to do here now is flip back to our black background screens for the four equity future contracts and you'll see these descending trend lines and those really become those next targets to the upside should price continue to the upside the only instrument so far that's given us that signal from a daily perspective is the es mini and that's because price is trading above the top of its daily profile out there. Uh, by the way, market breadth for the S&P, for the NASDAQ 100, is all positive for each of its time frames. You and I, we track 60 minutes. We track 240 daily and the weekly out there. And they're all set to bullish configurations. So it's a matter of how is price going to handle resistance. Right now, the ES Mini has been able to overtake it. Now, the question is, are there any kind of topping signals out here? Or that should be a question. So what we'll do here now, since I'm on that screen is I'll just go over and take a look at the ES Mini. And here we take a look at the ES Mini. Uh, what we can see here is that also on the weekly time frame chart, let me just expand this chart out, maybe bring it back just a tad. Now what you're gonna notice here, what you should notice is last week price closed above its green oscillator and change line. It also did that the week before. That's your two consecutive closes above a key level of resistance. Quite frankly, where a counter trend rally in this move should have ended. That doesn't mean that it can't end someplace higher, but right now I didn't change the screens. Thank you, Mr. Bill. Sorry about that. Or that was Jay. Thank you, Jay. Give me a moment here, we'll pull this up. Okay, so when we take a look at this uh, weekly chart here for the ES Mini, you now see that price is above that green oscillator and change line. A green oscillator and change line, just the greenness, uh, tells us that we have a price oscillator that's above zero. When price is above the green line, tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are bullish conditions. So what we need to uh, do is just simply continue to watch this out here. But you've got those two consecutive closes. The daily up above the top of its daily profile really giving us a signal of price moving up to that descending trend line area. That's the ES Mini for the weekly time frame. With regard to the other time frames out here, just looking for signals, you got a TD9 count bottom at breakout support. That took place on uh, Friday down at the 4509 level. So price right now is dealing with its green oscillator and change line. So a nice bottom signal there. And if price can overtake the 4567 level, you should see a move to 4578 and then 4604. You've got a TD9 count top for the 120 minute chart for the uh, 100 for the uh, ES mini out there. That hat pattern is completing. And uh, this would suggest that price could pull back to 45.44. Well, which one is it, Steve-O? Well, at this stage here, since the 240 has found resistance at the oscillator and change line, and the 120 has got a topping signal, I'm going to say that the 120-minute chart is one that is really controlling things. And I would suggest price pulling back to that 45.44 level. Nothing to assist us here on the 60-minute, or at least the 60-minute is saying, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. If you look at the 30-minute chart out there, it's really an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside that has not completed. And that's really about it that I would share with you here, only because there's nothing else really to share. We'll go take a quick peek here at the NQ as we go into this break. I know there are some traders that were taking a look at a potential top out here. These are, uh, again, uh, an eight-panel set of charts, but just some intraday time periods. One time period that was looked at was the 15-minute. Price needed to close about 15 to 120.50 to negate its TD9 count. It did not do that. So now what price is doing, it's testing support or pulling back the support that's the bottom of that 15 minute profile 1507950 close below that the nq says i should continue to head forward 15077 being another steve rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, to folks. Let's go to one of our first questions. Just from John and Philly. Want to take a look at a GDX and Newmont Mining, looking for some type of topping signal. So, with regard to a topping signal, the only thing that's present here, we'll, we'll take a look at the charts in detail. Are really the descending trend line that you see on the weekly basis, John, and that is lining up with the top of the monthly profile. So, the level of real resistance out here is at the 39.86 area. That's for the GDX. As as far as the GDX and other topping patterns. Don't really have anything, at least not at this moment. No kind of signal in the GDX. Um, what price did on Friday was it closed above that green oscillator and change line. Now price is pulling back and testing support. That's the top of the daily profile. Uh, so as long as it holds at 3870, there's nothing wrong here. But you know you do have that resistance up above. We already took a look at those levels on the black background charts. I don't know what else I can add there. Since there's nothing else to add, let's go take a look at Newmont Mining. In fact, here are the uh, top eight instruments that make up the uh, GDX, Newmont being the number one. Now, in the case of Newmont Mining, so it's always good to look under the covers here. Uh, and if we take a look at Newmont Mining, there's a potential, just depends on where price closes today, there's a potential for a confirmed Rhodesman to indicator top. Now, you got to get a bearish reversal candle. At present, you've got a dark cloud cover, and you have a dark cloud cover because it's halfway, it's it's below halfway of the bar from Friday, and that's really the midpoint uh, that uh, would need a price to trade below, close below, in order to generate that dark cloud cover candle. Price is trading into and just slightly below that green oscillator and change line at 80.94, but above the top of the daily profile. So, John, I would take a look at it like this: you could get a topping signal. But in order for that topping signal to gain traction, you must get back inside the daily profile. Otherwise, you have really a neutral signal. And the top of that profile for Newmont Mining is 79.24. As we look at the other top eight instruments out here with regard to uh, GOLD, uh, we don't have any kind of a topping pattern, nor do we for Franco Nevada, nor do we for uh, Wheaton Precious Metals, nor do we for, well, AEM is in bar number seven of a... Uh, of a Chapman wave count out there, but you won't get a confirmation of that pattern until you see a lower high. So that means the earliest would be tomorrow. Otherwise, that pattern can simply extend. Price, though, is also above its green oscillator and change line. So that's really kind of a bullish signal out there. 
Uh, so we're just not seeing the topping patterns per se, other than those descending trend lines in the top of that uh, weekly profile. But again, you want to watch Newmont Mining. That could be giving you a signal. But again, in Newmont, you need to see it close below 79.24 for it to really gain some traction to the downside. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request earlier. Let's go to our next request. Next request was coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wanted to take a look at ticker symbol ANTM. So what screen am I on? I'm on that screen. Let's get over to the black background screens here for a moment. We'll put that up. We'll take a look at what this instrument is doing. So let's get this growing. ANTM is the instrument that Hector wants to take a look at. This is uh, Anthem Inc. And Anthem Inc. has uh, formed a brand new daily profile, Hector. Uh, and that's got resistance at 501.54. Actually, what I should do is actually read Hector's question so that I can answer it. So I will do that. Let me see. Do I have that set up? Perfect. So the question is, hey, first, happy Marvelous Monday. Back at you. ANTM on a on an ABC Weekly, what are the projections? Boy, there's so many different A to B equals CD patterns out here. What I really do when I see so many of these, you know, where do we want to start the A to B equals CD patterns out here? It's been on the stair step approach all the way to the highs. It's much easier for me to when I see something like that, like that is to step back and take a look at a larger time frame. And when we do that, then it's a very clear A to B equals CD pattern, Hector. And the A point out here that I'm starting with is down on the lows from uh, November of 2016. The B point out here is going to be the high from February of 2019. The C point is going to be the 2020 March low out there. So we can see this is already up towards its 1.618 A to B equals CD. And if this can clear the top of that daily profile, Hector, at 501.54, that then is going to suggest to move up to the 577 level you can see that along the c to d leg price is still on the left side so it's still on the strong side out there uh, and that really suggests that over time price should go target that 577 ish area but right now it's got to deal with the resistance on the daily time frame let's change screens go to our eight panel see if there's anything else out here that hector and patty need to be aware for anthem and uh, so that's what's on your screen right now. Monthly chart looks positive. Uh, no topping signal out here, nor does the daily have a topping signal. Uh, the weekly does have a confirmed road momentum indicator top. The price right now is dealing with that oscillator and change line. So it's still a neutral signal out here. But if price were to close below that oscillator and change line, that number is slightly above where we're printing. It's at 489.90. We're printing at 488.84. So if price did close below that uh, level out there, what that would signal to us, Hector and Patty, is maybe a move back to support. The bottom of that new daily profile that formed, we gave you the resistance. Now it's time to give you support. And that's at 475.13. Let's close up this chart, see if there's any other signals out here that we should pay attention to. And as I look at it, the only thing that pops out at me is on a 30-minute basis, the pullback out here, <coughs> Hector. This was started by Roach Momentum Indicator Top. Price is testing its breakout level. <clears throat> and it uh, looks like you could get a TD9 count, and that's at the 486.94-ish area. <clears throat> We don't have that pattern confirmed yet, but you could get that confirmed by, this is going to be bar number 8, by 230 out there that oscillator and change line change color so you could see a bounce up to the uh, 492 494 even 495 51 level out there nothing else that i see so your question was really to take a look at the a to b equals cd you're looking for support and resistance i think we accomplished that task so uh, time to move on hector and patty have a uh, magnificent monday and as always thanks so much for writing in we had another request to take a look at uh, ticker symbol c-a-l this is out of the Tigris Den. My apology, I don't recall who asked. I just simply had enough time <coughs> to write down the symbol. And so that's what's up on our swell. That's what's trying to populate. C-A-L, which is uh, Col Colaris Inc. out here. And uh, as these charts here are populating, one of the things that you should notice is price right now is just simply consolidating with inside its daily profile. So your support resistance level 1908 at support 2065 for resistance. If you look at the weekly chart, you can see that oscillator and change on has really acted as resistance out there on any moves higher. That's really suggesting price should go target the bottom of that profile, and that's in the 1853 range. TD9 count top on the monthly basis. Price is below the uh, bottom of its monthly profile. At least it closed below that last month. 
Don't know if we'll get a second close this month. If we did, though, what CAL would be signaling to us is a move back to 780. Can't make that call just yet because we don't have that uh, second month. We've just begun April out here. But the weekly says uh, uh, it doesn't really want, it doesn't like uh, moving to higher price out there. Is that Osseter and Changeline keeps knocking it back. Do I see any other signals? Nothing else out here of significance. Uh, the 30-minute chart does have a TD9 count top. That would suggest in an oscillator and change line that recently changed colors. So that suggests to you and I that price should go target that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed in 1991. Now that line might move higher as price moves sideways or higher out there. Uh, so use that as a general guideline out there. So looks like you could get a short-term pullback out here to that 30-minute uh, oscillator and change line at 19.91. dollars we get back from this break, we've got a request to take a look at IONQ. And I'll see if there's any other requests. Of course, I would love to hear from you. 877-927-6648 or Steve at TFNN.com. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, let's go out to Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. I'm very happy. I got hearing aids at work, and it's a different oh. world. Oh, perfect. That's a wonderful thing out there. Now, I know that, uh, so you want them to, you're, those are working for you, and I want to listen yeah. to you. 
And uh, you want to take a look at Chenier Energy. LNG is a ticker symbol. And uh, right now trading out at 141.99. It's above the top of the daily and weekly and monthly profiles out there. So tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you. Well, I was thinking that it's pulled back a little bit today. And uh, I made some money on it here last week because it moved from that 130 range. And I took profits. And I just thought maybe now I, it was a good time to get back into it again. Uh I just okay. wanted to go out calls about 30 days. Sure. So right now what it's dealing with, what it actually did on uh, last week, and it, it's doing it again so far today, it's dealing with the resistance level that's established at the top of its weekly profile, Ron, and that level is 143.40. So that's the only resistance that it's dealing with. I think I said it was above all profiles, and now that I take a closer look at the uh, weekly time frame, uh, that was, uh, that, that, that I shouldn't have said that. So that's your real resistance point is 143.40. So let's open up my white background charts and see if there's anything else out here that might be able to assist us. And first, when we take a look at the daily time frame, we see a nice Rosemontum indicator top, but that's setting price back to the support area of that bullish structured profile out there. It never really got down to test what you were the area where you would have thought it would have made its way to, which was between 129 and 131. It got down on the trading day of March 29th to a low of 132.16. Price right now is dealing with that green oscillator and change line, and it's just below that. So that's another resistance area for you to observe, and that is at 142.84. As long as price remains below that oscillator and change line. It really does suggest that price could or should pull back to at least the top of the profile, and that'd be at 138.11. So one level to be watching there would be 138.11. If price were to close below 138.11, then we're back to the 129 to 131 levels out there. Let me take a look at the weekly chart, see if there's anything else out here. Nothing else other than the resistance point that you and I have already looked at on a monthly basis. You do have a TD nine count top that could form uh, between last month and next month out there. So we really got to get back to the daily and weekly, which you and I have already looked at. And then a short term time frame chart. I don't really have much out here. So your intention is to step back into a long position here. And the only level that I have right now that would be an area to consider that would be. Uh, I'd have to say it would be 138.11. You'd really want to see how price is pulling back into that area. And what you would benchmark that against is uh, I'd benchmark that against the low, uh, this little swing point low from March the 29th. That had 2.7 million shares. So price is pulling back into that area, Ron, and doing it with less than 2.7 million shares. That's probably your next entry area into Chenier Energy out there. Any questions on what I've shared so far on either the black background charts or the uh, white background charts? No, that's uh, that's fine. I'll look. Let me ask you this: If it holds above that, you mentioned one forty two eighty four, the oscillator line. Yeah. If it holds above that uh, today and tomorrow, would that mean that it's got a good chance of holding? It means that it means that uh, all it means is that the signal would be neutral because the daily time frame has a confirmed top. And so your real, your real resistance is going to be that high from March 25th, and that's at 149.42. So if it does close above the green oscillator and change line, 142.85 right now, what that would signal to us, one, it would give you a, a neutral signal for the daily time frame, but it would suggest to you and I that price is going to go target that swing point high. It doesn't tell us whether price would take that out or not. There again, what you do is you do a benchmark from a volume standpoint. That candle session that we just referred to. Again, that was from the trading day of March the uh, 25th out there. That had volume of 4.2 million shares. So what you'd like to see is, uh, you'd like to see price moving up into that with at least that type of volume. Today's volume is an example, and price was pushing higher early this morning, is uh, 654,000 uh, shares. So really light volume as it pushes in that swing point out there. So I don't know that that's really setting up the type of trade that you necessarily want out here maybe this is just going to consolidate sideways is perhaps its message but did that answer your question for you what happens yeah, if absolutely. price closes thank you so okay. much i okay. appreciate it okay thank you so yeah, you bet thanks day. so much and, and you do the same that was ron in uh, denver calling that was uh, again chenier energy ticker symbol lng now we had a question uh, uh, as i mentioned earlier in the uh, tiger's den so we're going to go ahead and uh, I, I forget the symbol ionq or something like that let me actually get this up here yeah i i o n q ionic or something like that 
Um, yeah, I think it is Ionic. And uh, here at the, the level here, when you take a look at the black background charts, uh, this is, I believe, for Dan in the uh, Tiger's Den. So, Dan, I'm just going to expand out uh, to start with. First, am I on the right screen? Yeah, black background chart. So I'm just going to expand out the daily time frame. What you can notice here, well, first, you can notice that price is pulled back and was testing that rising trend line. And it was doing that. That was support. But that you know, price closed below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile on March 25th. And today's the first time that it's trying to get back in here. And so far, the message is counter trend move. And the reason that I say that, Dan, is because it was a bullish structured profile. And if price was going to just have a counter trend move, then it would find resistance at the center. And that center is at 1333. The high so far today has been 1374. Uh, but uh, price is held uh, 1375. I take that back. 1375 is the center of the uh, daily profile. Price has gotten up to 1374. So that's your resistance level. Now, if you can close above 1375, Heck, you've got resistance up top as well between descending trend lines and the top of the daily profile, 1502. But closing above that is going to suggest that the rally may not just be a counter trend move, but that you do have resistance up at that 1502 level. So that's the uh, black background charts. Is there anything else out here that I see? There's really not. So let's go switch over to the white background chart, see if there's anything else out here that Dan needs to be aware of. As we pull those up to our screen, our monitors out here, what do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? The 195 minute chart's got a nice TD9 count bottom at breakout support of 1193. It's above the top of its profile. It's suggesting that price wants to move to 1470. That says watch that for that says watch that uh, 1470. It says watch that 1375 level. If you get a close above that, then you know your next target's between 1470 and 1502. Anything else that I see here? Nothing else that sticks out at me, uh, Dan. You can see that oscillator and change line on the weekly base that's also acted as resistance. So hopefully that assists you with regard to IONQ out there. Now, I've got no other questions that I see that have come in by email. A quick check in the uh, den area i don't see anything out there if i did overlook something if you whoever you are would be kind enough to go ahead and uh, type that in your questionnaire that would be really terrific for me so what do we want to do next out here what do we want to do next out here i'm just uh, looking around see what uh see what i've got not much there to report on so uh oh i know what we're going to do here really going to go back to just the general market so give me a moment we're going to go back to my black background screens out here and we're going to look at the uh, futures contracts uh, that's not what's on the screen right now what we're going to do is we're going to go to my multi-panel chart so remember we're talking about the es mini and how it's trading above the top of its daily profile there is a new quarterly profile that began forming this morning now um, i'm going to assume right now at this stage here that these profiles will take hold, but I won't know that till the end of the next quarter. But right now, the resistance level, the next key resistance level inside the ES Mini is 46.19. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at that ticker symbol RIO. That's Rio Tinto. This is for uh, Mike inside the uh, Tiger's Den. Hey, by the way, folks, the Tiger's Den, what an opportunity for you to uh, join an extraordinary group of uh, individuals. And you can do it for $1. One single dollar. So get over to the homepage of TFNN.com and join uh, this wonderful uh, group. And that request here coming from Mike and the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at Rio Tinto. So what we know about Rio Tinto is uh, that really it's trading between support and resistance. The support and resistance, $1 for the year. That's right. I think I said that. If I didn't say that, I meant to say that. Uh, you can see this descending trend line, which price really should target. Now, why does Stevie say price should target that level? Um, well, first, the month ended out here. So on a monthly basis, the swing point, Mike, was a swing point from the May of 2021 that had volume of 59 million shares. And last month, price tested and rejected it, but it rejected with 124 million shares, more than twice the number of shares. So that says that price should get up there to at least test that level again. And that's what it wants to do. Now, don't know that it'll overtake it. It's still dealing with that descending trend line that you can see out here. So that's certainly something you could draw on your system. You'd like to see price close above that to then suggest you've got some type of breakout going on. On the daily time frame chart, uh, there is price that did close above a swing point, the swing point from March 25th, which only had volume there of 2.8 million shares, and it was passed with 3 million shares. Now, I was going to try to draw in an A to B equals CD, but that was only a 23% retracement, that B to C leg. It's a, you like to at least get down into the 38 or close to the 38% uh, retracement out there. So I'm not going to, knowing that we've got this resistance out here on the uh, descending trend line for the weekly time frame, not really going to draw that A to B equals CD pattern. Now, as we switch over and take a look at the white background charts for you, there's not a whole lot here for me to add to the commentary because there's just not a whole lot to add. There's no topping patterns that I see for the time frames, nothing for the monthly, nothing for the weekly, nothing for the daily out here. Um, not really anything for the 195 minute chart, no top on 130, no top on 160. Well, the 65, yeah, has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, and that's led to a sideways movement out there. Um, so yeah, so not seeing a whole lot more than that to add to the commentary for Rio. So I do hope that that helps you out, and thanks so much for the request. There are no other requests that I've got in at the moment. Let me just double check here and make sure. Hope I take that back. There we go. So now we've got uh, Mark wants to take a look at the Clovis. CLBS is the ticker symbol. So we've got three requests that have popped up. That's a beautiful thing. Let's see if we can get to all of them. The charts that we got running right now, the white background charts, let's go ahead and let those populate and answer Mark's question, which are, where do the charts indicate Clovis is heading? 
So great question. Clovis Oncology is above the top of its daily and weekly profiles out here. So that's a positive. It was a monthly TD9 count bottom. So that suggests on a longer term basis, Mark, price should target 463. You've got a price above the top of its weekly profile. That suggests price should go target 451. So we got 451 to 463. Price uh, is taking out its TD9 count breakdown resistance level after forming a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So close today above 266, that's on the daily time frame, is going to suggest a further move higher. The next level would be $3.70. The next level above that would be 457. Your specific question is where the charts say Clovis Oncology is headed. Those time frames all say higher. The 195 minute chart has formed a TD9 count top, could also form a Rhodes momentum indicator top. That would then suggest that price might pull back to the 227 level. That's currently its oscillator and change line. No topping pattern on the 130. You do have a topping pattern that could form on the 65 minute, but it's really a neutral signal right now because price is above the top of its daily profile and its green oscillator and change line. That could be a level of support and where price would target on a pullback around 269 to 276. TD9 count on the 30 minute, price holding that green oscillator and change line. So its signal right now is neutral out there. So back to the charts, longer term, monthly, weekly, and daily, they suggest that price wants to continue to move higher. You've got to contend with a couple intraday charts that are saying it's a little tired, price might want to pull back, um, but uh, not suggesting that that's any kind of significant top out there. So I hope that helps you out, Mark. Thanks so much for writing in. Next question coming in from Mimi. Mimi wants to take a look at emerging markets, EEM. My suggestion, and before I even look at any charts, is make sure that you're only trading emerging markets. There has been a ton of money in the last two weeks that has been pulled out of China and has been pulling out of the emerging markets out there, and uh, that is not a good scenario out here. So I've heard a lot of people on a lot of the media stations talking about how this year people should get into emerging markets. I'm going to suggest that you be really cautious about that, or if you are, make sure that it's a trade and not any kind of substantial portion of your portfolio. Of course, you go ahead and do what you're going to do. I mean, if we look at the monthly time frame charts out here, Mimi, which we have on the screen right now, the upper left-hand corner, you've got a nice TD9 count bottom that formed above TD9 count breakout support at 4018. That's a bullish move out there and suggests you could see a bounce up to 5002. Again, my commentary right now is what are the charts communicating to us? I just want to make sure that I threw out there that there's some real danger, potential danger lurking out there. So don't want you to get too heavily caught up into emerging markets. Now, price right now is trading above the top of its daily pro or weekly profile out there. So that's another bullish signal. Uh, now, it's just trading above it this week. So it really needs to club close above that on Friday, it being 46.39. The daily time frame has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. It did that when it gapped up on the trading day of March the 16th. Price is running into resistance at the top of its daily profile, Mimi. That's at 46.85. So if price can close above 46.85, that's going to suggest a move up to that 50.02-ish area out there. Is there anything else that I see for emerging markets? There's nothing else that I see. You asked me to please comment on emerging markets. So I would say it does look like it wants to trade higher. But again, I would be very careful with regard to how much of your portfolio you're allocating to those emerging markets. Remember, the U.S. dollar index is on a tear. It's on a tear to the upside, and that is never good for the emerging markets, especially because so many of them have so, I, I don't know how many trillions of dollars, 17 trillion or something like that, of emerging market debt denominated in U.S. dollars. That means every time the U.S. dollar is ticking higher, it's costing them more just simply to cover the interest, let alone pay back the principal out there. The next question coming in from Rich in Oregon wants to take a look at GLNG, which I'm imagining is a uh, uh, is a uh, liquid natural gas play out here. Where would you consider an entry point is Rich's question. So we're going to go ahead and let that uh, populate out here. Again, the ticker symbol that we're going to look at here is GLNG. And GLNG is actually... Golar LNG Limited, which is pulling back just a bit. Now, you did get a daily Rhodes momentum indicator topping signal out here, uh, Rich, on Friday when it generated that bearish shooting star candle. Now, just because you got a topping signal doesn't mean that this thing is going to have any kind of major top. And the reason is, is because price is above the top of its daily profile. And more importantly, right now, it's above its green oscillator and change line. So that may be its next level of support out there. You're asking, where would I consider an entry point? 
That's one possibility. That's at 24.18. If price were to close below 24.18, remember you do have a top in place out here, so most certainly could close below that level. Then we'd be looking at 21.39 to 21.97, with our preference being 21.39. That is because that is the center of its bearish structure profile. That price closed above back on the trading day of March 29. That's the daily time frame for ticker so GLNG. No topping pattern on the monthly basis or the weekly out here. I don't really see much to add to uh, to uh, help out Rich with that uh, question. So I think you've got to watch the 2418 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the NQ here for Danny from New York. Danny's got some uh, calls in the TQQQ series, so he's long the uh, Qs out there. And really the best way for me to analyze this, Danny, for you is really take a look at the uh, NQ out here. So that's what I've got up on our screen. You've got your four panel, and this is a larger time frame. You've got the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. I mentioned earlier we're looking at the ES Mini and how that has formed a new quarterly profile. So, too, has the NQ. So, too, has the Dow. So your resistance levels here, though, back to your your 
core question, though, is really more based upon the daily time frame. And what you can see out here is that price is consolidating with inside that daily time frame, and price is trading right up into resistance. Now, it's trading up into resistance. Now, there's first there's a TD9 count top. That's at the swing point. That's a trading session from March the uh, or March 29th. If price was able to close above that, that being 15,268.75, that's telling you off to the races. But I don't know that that's going to happen out here. So you're trading the resistance. If I switch over real quickly and look at the QQQ series ETF out here, what we're going to notice is that price is trading in that swing point. That's the March 29th level that had volume of 68 million shares. And so far today, you're up with 28 million shares. Now, look, if this closes above 366.06, it says it should move higher. But you've got that descending trend line information out there. Now, typically, when you uh, you know, get up to a resistance level, you would see some type of uh, short-term topping signals uh, for the intraday time frames out here. Now I'm back to the NQ. And here on the NQ, you did have a TD9 count top on the 15 minute, but if price closes about 15, 1, 20, 50, that gets negated. So you want to watch that. Support is held to the downside, which would have been 15.079. No topping signal yet on the uh, 30 minute chart, although you could get a TD9 count top by 230 out there. That's if price gets above and spikes above the high of the day out here. Um, so you've got some short term topping signals, but what you don't have out here. Uh, Danny is any kind of levels of support being broken, but price is trading up into resistance. So you may want to take your money and run. But folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home from three to four, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 p.m. sharp for Terrific Tuesday. Have a magnificent Monday, folks.